Google's anti-gravity keeps getting better and it's absolutely destroying the competition. But here's the thing, most people are using it like it's just another chatbot, missing 85% of its actual power. So what makes anti-gravity so different? Well, it's Google's AI coding assistant, but it's not like Cursor or Claude Code. This thing actually handles both the front end and the back end simultaneously. It runs multiple AI agents in parallel like an engineering team. And it comes with the most powerful models built right in. That is Gemini 3 Pro and Claude Sonnet 4.5. And to make it even better, it can manage your artifacts, verify your code, give you visual feedback, and it understands your entire code base. And the best part of all is that it's completely free right now while Google burns through money to dominate the market. And guys, by the end of this video, you'll master these six features that separates the beginners from the pros. And I'm going to prove it by building a complete CRM tool right in front of you. It's going to have contacts, deals, tasks, the whole thing. And I'm going to be using every single one of these features. Guys, before we jump in, if you want the exact workflows, the templates and the prompts that we are going to be using in today's video, then what you need to do is join our free school community. 8,000 builders are already in Side. And guys, the link is in the description below. Go and check it out. I can guarantee you, you are going to be so happy you did. And now, guys, let's get started and let's hop over to the PC. Okay, guys, so now that we are on the PC, the first feature that we are going to be looking at is the agent manager. Okay, so this is... I want you to think of this as mission control for all of your AI agents, okay? So guys, we established it before, most people just use the chat interface. But what they do is they just type in a prompt, they wait for a response, and then what they do is they type in another prompt, and for being honest, guys, that is the old way. That's the old way of doing things. So guys, the agent manager is completely different. Think of it as an inbox system where you can orchestrate multiple agents, okay? You can review all of their plans before they execute and you can manage an entire team of AI engineers working simultaneously. And here's why all of this matters, okay? You're not micromanaging anymore. You are actually orchestrating. So this happens in three stages, okay? And those stages are the planning, the approval, and also the parallel execution. So let's start by opening up anti-gravity and now I'm going to click on open agent manager right here. Okay. So I want you guys to see this on the top left hand side here. You can see that I've got all of my workspaces. So I'm going to create a new one called CRM tool and now I'm going to start our first agent. Okay. So I'll click on the plus button and here's the key. Okay. So I'm selecting the planning mode. So this means that the agent will think through the entire approach before writing any of the code. So the cool thing about this is this ensures that you are tailoring everything to your liking before the app begins to build. And that is super important and you guys are going to see later on why. So I'll give it this prompt. So this is also a prompt guys that you can copy from the free school community, link down below. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit send. And now guys, I want you guys to see what's going to happen. So the agent isn't just diving into any code, what they're doing is it's actually researching best practices. It's thinking through all of the architecture and now it's creating a structured plan. See this artifact that just appeared here? So this is the implementation plan. So what it's doing now is it's actually showing me the project structure, the components that we are going to be needing, and also the data models, the API endpoints. Everything is just mapped out before a single line of code is even written. So this is just stage one, and this is the planning. And this is what separates the pros from all of the beginners. Because you don't just start coding, you have to plan first. You have to put in some time and effort in order to plan. And now guys, we are getting on to stage two and that is the approval. So look at this implementation plan, okay? And now what I can do is I can actually review every single section and if I don't like something, I can simply just leave a comment right here. Just like the way you do in Google Docs. Let me add a comment, okay? I'm gonna say use Tailwind CSS for styling instead of plain CSS. And then I'll submit that, okay? Now when I approve this plan, the agent will actually incorporate that specific feedback that we just gave it. Okay, so now do you guys see this button over here? It says proceed with implementation, okay? So that's basically my approval button. So I'm telling the agent, yes, this plan looks good and I want you to go ahead and I want you to build it, okay? Now we move on to stage three and that is the parallel execution. So this is where things get quicker than ever. So right now, 
I have one agent that's working on the overall structure, but I don't want to wait for it to finish everything sequentially. So I want multiple agents working on different parts simultaneously. So it's gonna save me a lot of time in the long run. So I'm going to go back to the agent manager and I'm going to spawn three more agents. And each one is going to get a specific job to do. So agent two will be building my contact management front end. And then agent three will set up my backend API. And then as for agent four, he is going to handle the dead pipeline interface. So now guys, to make things easier for you, you can copy all of these prompts in the free school community. But now I want you to take a look at this. So now we have four agents running simultaneously. So check out the agent manager. You can see all of them are working in real time. Agent one is building the overall project structure. Agent two is creating the contact management UI and agent three is setting up the backend API. And then agent four is a building the deals pipeline. So it's the perfect team all working together. And here's the beautiful part. They are all notifying me through the inbox system. So see these checkpoints over here so I can know where each agent is with their tasks so I can always stay on board. It's kind of like having the perfect team that's always letting you know before their work is done so you can always check up on them. So I can just click into each one, I can review their progress and I can leave feedback and then I can improve them to continue on. So this is the perfect level of orchestrating everything. This is how you build 10 times faster. Instead of just one agent doing everything step by step and taking a long time to do it, you've got an entire engineering team working in parallel. And and there we go guys, here is our amazing CRM tool built in only just a few minutes. And this is this is just the power of the agent manager. Planning mode is there to think fast, approval checkpoints to maintain quality and parallel execution to move everything at lightning speeds. But now guys, it's time for us to get on to feature number two. And that is the three model strategy. So anti-gravity gives you access to three powerhouse models. That is the Gemini 3 Pro, the Claude Sonnet 4, 4.5 and GPT-4, but here's the secret, okay? You don't use the same model for everything. Each model has its own superpower. So Gemini 3 Pro is perfect for your designs because that is the design expert. Now use it for the UIs, the layouts, and anything that, that anything that's visual, okay? And Claude Sonnet 4.5 is your backend architect, okay? So complex logic, refactoring, system design, that is where it specializes. And then guys, when you come onto GPT-4, it's your reliable workhorse. It's the one that does all of the simple tasks. The ones that could go wrong, it handles everything. And when you match the right model to the right task, your output quality skyrockets. It just takes everything to another level. So for our CRM, I'm going to use Gemini 3 Pro and this is going to be for the front end design. So guys, I'm going to open the editor view right now. So I want you guys to take a look at this and you can see the drop down on the bottom right and that's where you select your model. So I'm switching to Gemini 3 Pro and I'm going to give it the prompt. So guys, watch this. Gemini is now creating the HTML, the CSS and the JavaScript all in one file. So look at how clean this layout is. Just pay attention to that. Look at the spacing, the colors, the component structure. This is what Gemini excels at. And that's why we gave it this task. Now guys, when we get to the back end logic later on, then we are going to switch to Claude. And that's basically the strategy. But now let's get on to feature number three, and that is the artifacts system, okay? This is anti-gravity's proof of work system. So instead of just dumping code in a chat window, anti-gravity creates structured artifacts. That is task lists, implementation plans, walkthroughs, screenshots. These are living documents that you can review and you can annotate, okay? So this is huge because it keeps you in control. You're not just hoping that the AI does the right thing. You are actually reviewing its plan before it executes. And that is so powerful. And guys, to make it even better, here's the best part. You can leave inline comments. So like we said before, just like in Google Docs, the AI will then adjust on the fly and it will make the changes based on what you said. So guys, take a look at this. Jim and I just created an implementation plan artifact for our CRM. So do you see this tab over here that just opened up? So it's showing me the project structure, the component breakdown, and also the styling approach features to implement, okay? So now let's say I don't like something over here, okay? Let's say there's something that I'm just not too happy with. So then what I can do is I can click right here on the line and I can leave a comment. So I'll submit that comment and now when Gemini proceeds, it will incorporate that feedback automatically. This is the human in the loop approach. So you are actually guiding it. You are getting the best results because you are inputting a lot more. And it's not micromanaging. Like I said, it's 
guiding to get the best results. And now guys, that takes us perfectly into feature number four, and that is the browser automation. Okay, this is where anti-gravity gets scary good, okay? It can spawn a real Chrome browser. It can open up your app, it can click buttons, it can fill out forms, and it can test everything for you automatically. So this means your apps are self-testing and self-healing. So you don't have to manually check if a button works or even if a form submits correctly, the AI does that for you and it fixes the issues on the spot. So our CRM interface is built and now I want to test it, okay? So I'm gonna tell anti-gravity, open this in local host and test the contact form. Make sure that I can add a new contact and verify it displays in the contact list. So now guys, take a look at this, okay? A Chrome window just opened automatically and do you, there we go. Do you guys see that? So it's not me clicking, that's the AI. It, if something breaks, it will actually flag it and it will even suggest fixes to us. And that's the power of browser automation. And now guys, we have to get onto the next feature and that is the custom workflows. So these are kind of like saved prompts or slash commands that you can reuse across any project that you want to. So think of them as your personal playbook of best practices. So instead of rewriting the same debugging instructions or code review prompts every single time, you can save them once and call them up in Instantly. So this is how you codify your expertise and you make it repeatable. Let me show you guys how this works, okay? I'm going to click on the three dots right up here and I'm gonna to go to customizations. Now, I'm going to create a new workflow called debug issues. And I'll paste in a debugging framework that I use and it's a systematic approach to finding root causes without creating new bugs. So now, whenever I need to debug something in a project or any future project, I just type slash debug debug and it applies this entire framework automatically for me. So let's test it out. Our contact form isn't saving phone numbers correctly. So then I'm going to type slash debug and the contact form isn't saving phone numbers. Okay. And now guys, watch this. It's now following the systematic debugging workflow and it's checking the form validation. It's inspecting the API endpoint and it's reviewing the database schema and it's identifying the issue and it's fixing it right now. Now. So there, as you can see, that's the power of custom workflows. You build your library of best practices once, and then you can just use them forever using this method. And now guys, getting on to the next feature that we need to speak about, that is the view policy settings. And guys, it's so simple but it's so, so, so crucial at the same time. So you have three options. You have always proceed, which is when the agent makes all the decisions automatically. You have agent decides, which is when the agent chooses when to ask you for approval and you have always ask. So that is when you review every single action. So guys, this is all about control versus speed, okay? So if you are building something critical, then you want to make sure that you are all, that the AI is always asking you for permission. But if you are prototyping something or if you test the direction of the AI, then you can just put it on always proceed so that it can just move so much faster. Most people leave it on agent decides, but here's the problem with that, okay? The agent almost never asks for approval. It just proceeds anyway. So for our CRM guys, I started with always ask because I, I want to review the architecture designs before the time. I want to make sure that we are getting the best possible outcome. But guys, now that the foundation is solid, everything is now sorted, I'm actually going to be switching it to always proceed so that the agent can finish off the remaining features without interrupting me. You can find the setting right here in the agent manager under preferences. And guys, my recommendation, start with always ask when you are learning how to use everything. And then once you understand how anti-gravity actually thinks, how it all works and what it does, then switch to always proceed for the speed because it is gonna cut down your time by so, so, so much. And there we have it, guys. So now you know the six features that will let you use anti-gravity to its maximum potential. But here's the thing, knowing and doing are two very different things. That's exactly why we created the free school community. Inside, guys, you get the exact workflow files that we use to build the CRM. Custom templates for different types of apps, daily Q&As, and that is also the spot, guys, where we answer all of the questions that you are thinking about. Guys, you get real examples from our other builders in the community, and also you get updates on new anti-gravity features as they drop. Guys, like I said before, the link 
link is in the description below. Go and check it out. Join us inside there. And guys, I will see you over there. Now, guys, if you want to see me build something more complex with anti-gravity, maybe an AI automation tool or a full SaaS app, then let me know in the comments down below, guys. And if this video helped you, then smash that like button. Subscribe because we are always dropping new tutorials every single week. And guys, it's been a whole lot of fun. I will catch you on the next one.